Good morning all, welcome to another video on my channel and today, uh, <clears throat> an unexpected video, I didn't plan to do one today but whilst I was on the internet last night um, came across a new firmware update for the Scout um, and I'm looking forward to trying it out uh, I've read a few comments already from people and it seems to be generally on the whole a very positive experience um, so this video today is just basically going to go on a bit about how we go about updating the firmware so the firmware what what do we know about it well it was released yesterday uh, the 6th of February and it very little to go on don't really say about what what it does However, a few people um, have already mentioned and have already tried it. And we are talking uh, the fact that all four motors now are going to be spinning at the same time, supposedly when we take off. That's the first thing. Some people have reported that the GPS lock uh, is better uh, and they get more satellites. And that the GPS hold... Um, or the loiter position is much improved as well um, I think there was a comment as well about how it supposedly flies slightly smoother as well so if this is all to be the case this is going to put the scout back uh, up at the top with some of the best quads out there um, because I have found that whether or not it's the gimbal or or, or the actual quad itself um it, it it can be um as not as smooth as it as it would as what I would like so yeah so what we're going to need for this is your scout we are going to remove the battery uh it is recommended not to have the battery in uh, it doesn't need the battery uh for the update the usb cable that is supplied um and your computer and access to the internet to download the file. Anyway, so step one is we need to take the USB slot, which is in here at the back, and we need to plug in the cable into that. I will say, just be a bit careful about that port because supposedly it is a bit fragile and it has been known to snap. And then the other part goes into the laptop. So that's the first part. You'll notice already down the bottom there, um, it's blinking. So we now need to uh, update the firmware. Right, so... The website you need to visit <coughs> is iuasinc.com forward slash firmware. Uh, I'll show you at the top up here. I'll put a link in the description below for you to click on. So firmware updaters, and this is what you're looking for. Scout X4, FC, X400, the 1.1. You see it was released yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> and it just says preferred GPS flight characteristics. So when you download that, it's only about a 400k file, um, and that. What you then need to do is unzip it and load it onto your desktop here, um, like so. Um, so you've obviously got the drive you've got drivers that's going to be the software that you need to open up in order to uh, install the firmware onto your scout so that's step one okay step two uh, you open up the folder here and you'll have the serial angel in here I've just dragged it to my desktop so this, so you should have it like this. 
we load up Serial Angel and it will, in my case, it's recognised the Scout. I'll be honest, I'm not 100% au fait with every sort of thing uh, in regards to computers, um, you know, whether you've got a Mac, uh, etc, etc. Um, so this is just a rough idea of, of how it's working or how it works. Um, you click on the right side and you select the .bin file which is here. Uh, file correctly loaded which is good. We click on upgrade and we watch the file slowly but surely um, upgrade to the uh, scout. So whilst that's doing that um, I just really want to emphasize that I might get posts or comments on this video saying, oh, I've got this issue with this, I can't, you know, my computer's not recognising, da 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 da. I'll be honest with you, I don't, I don't know. I probably won't be able to help you at all um, on that because uh, it, it's something um, that's a bit more uh, computer based. Um, so apologies for that. Um, there are various ways, you know, it will work. Um, just keep just keep trying uh, or searching the internet uh, for help so but yeah so what i'm trying to get at with this firmware is it's generally got some very positive reviews and something that i'm quite looking forward to trying hopefully in the next 24 hours or so uh, if the weather stays calm it's probably going to be overcast looking outside um but I just want to really be able to give it a little short test run to see um, to see what happens really, and you know if it can improve what we've already got, then fantastic. So that's the uh, process for updating the Scout. All you need to do is simply just unplug the lead from the Scout uh, and, and that's it basically. When you have done this, uh, you need to do a compass calibration again on the Scout. Um, what I think it may be that it might be reset, but you are advised to do it again. So it's worth remembering that. Uh, again, do it outside. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's it for me. Um, I hope to test this out in the next day or so uh, and get a video up and let you guys know what I think the improvements are. But hopefully it's all been positive and uh, I'll keep reading uh, other people's comments about the firmware that they've done. In the meantime, if you've done it and you want to put any comments on what you believe is to be any difference, um, please leave a comment below in the box. Uh, I read them all and, uh, of course, try and uh, reply back to you. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, please rate and subscribe uh, to my videos uh, and uh, don't forget to share as well it's all a big learning experience for me with my scout and for making these videos and I do appreciate all your help so take care and I'll see you all soon